Good morning, everybody. So, uh, as you can see over there, we've just come out of that paddock. They've actually done a really good job of that. We we're quite surprised they were going to do that well last night, actually. The grass was quite tall and they uh, ate a lot. It's good. Um, the girl's just up there, not far off, not far off the left. So, yeah. Um, I'll show you a paddock just up here. It's actually got a bit of uh, rust in it. And what rust is a disease that attacks the leaves of the grass, of uh, ryegrass plants, various grasses, and um, actually uh, stops it growing. Mainly around this time of year in the hot, humid conditions, with uh, um, the weather being the way it is, there's a lot of foliage around, so it'll attack that as well. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Um, and it just stops the growth, it really doesn't do well. But most grasses in New Zealand do have a, a like um, inoculants and endophytes in it that help stop that. But obviously this grass type we got wasn't a grass type Dad usually uses with the correct endophytes that help protect the grass from various diseases and bugs. Um, so it's just, endophyte is just a treatment or like a, um, yeah, basically a treatment, pretty simply put. Um, and those, that grass in particular is under attack and it didn't have, it wasn't the type we usually go for, it didn't have the treatment we usually get, it was just what they had left at the time because last year as we know it was a bad, bad drought and we had to under sow a good portion of the farm and our local um, farming retailer, he was starting to run out of grass seed, both of them were starting to run out of grass seed, so I'll show you right up here. Well, as you can see, it's got quite a yellow tinge to it. It's a sign of um, rust, rust and grass pasture. But what I'm meaning as well, as you'll see, there's actually green bits, uh, green in the paddock as well. This is a young grass paddock, so it shouldn't have rust at this age sort of group, but it was just obviously wasn't uh, set up for this farm with the rust attack. Yeah, here's their paddock for today. The grass in there. A little bit of dock here and there, but that's fine. It's bugger all, really. As you, as you can see, it's still got the tinge to it. This is up on the clay versus down and onto the peak down there. Well, well, it's part of it, part of it. It's not rusting yeah, either. all in the yard. Hey, open gate. Hello. Hey. She likes scratches. Yeah. Morning, Dad. How are you doing? Busy. 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 Yes. Flat hackers here. Look, he's really done one row. He's come for the next one. All right. I better get in there to help him. Yeah, got the next row in. Milk is going well, eh, Dad? Success. Yep. Hello. Got a little dog out there. Happy ears. Just looking around for rabbits. Never know. He might find one. Puppies, you want your milk? Oh, puppy, drink him up, drink him up. In the fence. Dad's a bit more keener than I am. He likes to pick up the standards even though the fence is going. I don't like shots. <laughs> right. Plan is he's going to shift the fence two down there. And I'm going to shift it four over this side so that we can get around that water trough. The cows can drink from that trough instead of walking over there. Biggest break so far, so we got four down halfway over that water trough, you see. Goes over the water trough, two close standers together. Not touching the water trough either, perfect. And Dad went two down here, so they get another tree of shade. A lot of grass, they're gonna be happy in here today. When they come in, see they've been leaving a bit of grass behind. It's what we want so that when they come back through this paddock again and say oh probably about two weeks time to 20 days time this will be nice and lush again <laughs> yeah right should go lock away the cows now and uh see what else we get up to today all right here's we got our tanker again today another nice scania it's been to be 26 degrees 
Dad's gonna shoot out and go mow some silage for his friend. And then we're gonna hopefully do some silage over the next couple of days or next week. See how we go. Was well, it meant to be 26 degrees today, you were saying? And now, we're the app on the, from the second onwards, we've got six days of rain, so hopefully we get some of it. There we go. And he's off. Don't tag is leaving soon too. Now do you tell them there's possible chance of showers today? The rain bugs are around. And they're generally in the middle of the race, so you hug the eggs. Rain bugs are just little flying ants, mitchies. This is our forage king, the second uh, lot we planted. He's gonna, the uh, Piaco spray as well is gonna come through and give that a spray today. Get some good footage of him doing that. We'll just go around and open all these gates for our forage king and our uh, Pioneer and Corson base. in the video I buggered up I went to the wrong post gone to the right post now because this it does look smaller it is smaller this break on this side because we can always back graze into the other side over here when we back graze there's generally a bit more left in that paddock that's why you make your first break so as your biggest second break smaller I'm gonna go set up one of these two paddocks here along this roadside pick out which one I'll show you how I pick out which one I'll choose and then we'll go and have a look. There looks to be a lot of grass over there. Might actually go have a look at that now. Looks to be a lot of grass over there. Okay, there looks like a lot of grass out here. There is a lot of grass out here. Nice lush clover. Makes some good solid. There's a bit of rushes in it. That's right. The spray tank now and just go down Willow. We call that lane Willow Lane this first race. I'm gonna go and spray those little buggers growing everywhere. There we go. I've just bashed this back out again. We're taking it off this gate. This is where it got a bit of a um, weight on it when the cows got spooked at the end of the yard over there and pushed nearly pushed out here. 
latch here is broken, as you can see. Doesn't latch in. Cows scratch the head up against the pole here and comes undone. So it's still a good latch, nothing wrong with it. We're just going to use it elsewhere. So we'll hit, bash this out and put the new one in. It's the new one all installed, just like that. All right, I think the tank is beam. We'll go and wash the vet and see how much we see. On. He's rinsed it out. We're going to go and give it a wash now, just a hot acid. So it's in 4,506 litres. Not bad. Keep it up, girls. That's us. We've got our spray tank filled up. We're ready to go spray some weeds. Well, see, it's all uh, probably when we go shift the cows. Because I'm just spraying weeds. Nothing too entertaining. Looking happy. Got a lot of grass. spraying down the back lane uh, down willow lane over there and uh, come into one of these silage paddocks down the back and just found a very annoying weed it goes very fast he's much like this creeping chamomile I'm not too sure what he's called it nice leaves on him there's his flowers we'll just go through and chuck him in the drain as well be quite a big mat of him was just in this area can't see any more Right, we'll go and have a look through a couple of the other silage paddocks, just look for the tall ones, pull them if we see them. That's it, I've gone around the farm, all around this area, down this, this race here, and sprayed all of our bad weeds that um, we know that our glyphosate and that won't get to because it's not near the drains or anything. So that's us all set. Our dad looks like he's on his way down now. Hopefully he's got some good footage from uh, mowing some silage up at his mate's place. Yeah, one paddock down. Not a very big panic, but nice, beautiful crop. Mo's doing a great job. Hold up, hold the second one. Yeah, so we're just mowing down here and um, stay a little bit out from the fence. The mower is a bit wider than the tractor, so you don't have to go too close to it. Tomorrow we'll get it next time round. One little bit left in this paddock. And we are finished. Lift the mower up. Turn the bingo half off. Why half off? Because if you go full off it puts a brake on it. And we'll just let it wind down nice and slowly, it's not as hard on things. Oh well, that's two paddocks done. Nice and easy, didn't take too long. Always good to help a friend out where you can. Well, Dad said that's it for today. Go home, knock off. Hey, he took my dog. Cheeky bugger. Took arrow with him. Hey, there's our maze. It's going well. Uh, the spray fellas still meant to be coming out. Hopefully if he arrives, I'll go and get some good footage of him. All right, homeward bound. Just finished my lunch and who arrives? We got the Carco Ag Spray Limited here to go and do our spraying, our post-emergent spray. That's a great job. Got a massive boom on him, won't take him long. He's just pulling up now. He goes in the paddock. Very little wind today too, so it'll go well. Definitely got a good sized boom. This won't take him long, this paddock. There he goes. Bringing farmers in their trees. You're probably only going to have to do five or six runs in this paddock. Real. Okay. 
as she runs over a bit of maize, but from the amount that you actually gain from it, there's uh, no point to worry about running it over. Cause Even though he runs over a little bit, the competition that uh, is formed by the weeds, it doesn't matter because, um, yeah, it'll just kill off that competition. So the maize will grow bigger, thicker, and not have any competition for eating. Not have any comp partner. So the so the maze that he runs over when he turns and that and goes up and down the rows, um, most of that will actually probably stand up again. Uh, the ones that die doesn't really matter because the amount of competition that he's spraying out with all the stuff he uses, uh, killing off any grasses, weeds, broadleafs, anything that could take moisture or um, nutrition off the maize plant. That's what he's. That's what we're taking out. So he goes up nicely up the rows and down through the rows. Oi. Soft spot. So why am I going down in the fair again? Why have I got a massive smile on my face? Well, um, he's stuck. Uh, I forgot to warn him about the uh, wet spots in the paddock caused by the artesian wells. His dad said you probably should have told him to stay away from that corner. So yeah, we're gonna go and. Uh, Take him out, give him a ball. Jeepers, that was uh, my fault for not telling yeah, him. Fault. I forgot to tell him. Jeepers, gone down a little bit, not too bad. <laughs> Wet spot there. Yeah, that's a well, that's a well. Down. He's down a little bit. We'll get her out, we'll get her out. Oh, yeah, thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, that was my fault. <laughs> and he'll be off again now. There we go, he's back into it. Yep, that was my buggering it up. These are all the weeds we're trying to kill. Docks. All that. Maze is looking nice. Doesn't matter. Those plants will either die or survive. It doesn't really worry us. He's popped out pretty easily. He's got a good four-wheel drive on him. Yep, yep, yep. There's no way he would have told that was there. Soft. Oi. Very soft. Probably just went in it too. Just. This is an old artesian well. But yeah, it's good. So that's mean he'll uh, not go through that, hopefully. <laughs> Here's Dad's little uh, maize plants that he tried to plant out. As you see, didn't grow. Those were the ones that uh, maize seed was about. Um, how old were they? Maize seed was about three years old, so didn't grow. And he's away again. He's quick. Jesus. quick and very accurate. Yeah, he's got his full boot down now. Massive area. There he goes into the last paddock. Yeah, so he's just finished spraying the Corson and then he's going to spray the Pioneer. Yoni. What a great job. All done. Thank you very much, Piarco Egg Sprayers. All three of our maze paddocks sprayed. Now that's us. We're locked up and we'll uh, leave them to sort. You see, most of that row will come back up anyway. They'll all stand back up. Too young. They'll bounce back. Oh, I think we're gonna go shift some cows now. Done a great job of the paddock considering uh how long they've been in for in there for. Good girls, they're coming, they're on their way to the next paddock. I'll leave them to it. I've got some gates to go and shut for where the spray has been. There they go. They're off. Now the rest of them know they're going out that way. It's a race for the gates. Shifted. Dirty. Right, I'll eat that 
grass and I'll probably mosey on and hop underneath these trees for some shade. So that's us for today. I'll see you all at Mulking tonight. Ciao, Derek. Close this gate. I'll show you how it locks in. But afternoon, everybody. The girls have finally worked out what the shade's for. Nice and out of the sun to raise. Yeah, so nice. It's gone to go get the cows in. And uh, I'm just putting a quick rinse through the vat just to cool down the, uh, the vat a bit. It's a bit hot to the touch. Just enough so it makes it a bit easier on the tiller and cooler and all that. Welcome back. Okay, we're all set up. Yeah, the milk some girls. Find a nice milking tonight. It's not too hot. It's quite quite a good milking. Look at that. It's not too hot and the cows are nice and cool. Yep. Beautiful milk. Look, you've not even cracked a sweat yet. No, not tonight. Have you been cupping any cows? <laughs> the same thing with you. Oh, section this row. 16 more. Come on, girls. Come on. Yeah, no, they're too happy. I've played out there all day, Dad, just pushing them up. Another successful milking. Well, that'll be us for today. The bulls are saying hello to the ladies. Um, yeah, we're just locking the cows away there and a good distance away, quite far away from the cow shed. That's us for today. Just here helping the young farmers. There's Tom. Hey Tom. It's a little tribe in everywhere. Cover in a silo stack. Beauty. Carry on, Tom. Here's Jack. Throw him up, Jack. Covering wealth. Going good. We're just going in the middle. We don't have enough tires on that side, so carry on on this side. Work our way down that way and then work our way back up. Beauty, this won't take too long at all. It hasn't taken long. Tamsin, young farmer. Hey Tamsin. Awesome. It's going good. All on the other side. Go. Don't bugger it up, Tom. Nice throw. Hey, Rita. There's a load. Jack, Marcus, yes. Johnny, and Homer. Go yep. right to left. That's stacked good. Perfect. That'll be sweet. Same way they stacked it over there. And it'll do good. That's what the uh, sorters do. Stacks just like a silage bale. As long as the air doesn't get into it. And right, that's the way. Ferments nicely. Cook away with the young farmers to finish up. Nice stack. Hey Rusty. <laughs> Makes a beer taste good. Only 200. Not too bad. <laughs> Close it. So thank you.